Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Chef Girl RD. Today I'm gonna to show you how to ear crisp a filet of salmon in the Ninja Grill. So this recipe is pretty simple. Today I'm using uh, some garlic puree. I've got a roasted garlic and herb seasoning and some lemon wedges. Now guys, feel free to use your seasoning or marinade of choice, but today this is what I'm using. Now I'm gonna use a foil wrap for this today. I find that it tends to keep the juices locked in a little better, but if you don't wanna use foil, then you can go ahead and just put it right into your Ninja ear basket. So I went ahead and I sprayed my foil with some cooking spray. And now I'm just gonna take my garlic puree and I'm gonna spread it on top. Next, I'm going to sprinkle on my seasoning. And I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice on there. Now, before we wrap this up, we can go ahead and preheat the Ninja Grill. Power it on, I'm gonna hit air crisp. Now for that size filet that I have, I think I'm gonna go 400. And my time, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna try 14 minutes, guys. All right, so while the grill is heating up, we're just gonna wrap up our salmon in the foil. Just wanna do a little fold over. And that's it. So the grill is preheated and I'm gonna add my salmon. Put that right in. And I'm gonna shut it. And I'm just gonna let that cook. So we got 14 minutes. I'm gonna check it after maybe about nine or 10 minutes. And we'll see what we got. So while that's cooking, I've actually went ahead and I cut up some petite potatoes and I added some oil with a little bit of seasoning and I had some asparagus in my fridge. So I'm gonna make this in the meantime in my Ninja Foodie. Just a small portion, just something to have with my salmon. So we're just about at the four minute mark. So this has been cooking for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna take a peek. That looks really good. So for the last four minutes, I'm gonna leave the foil open. Guys, the thing with using foil too is um, allows for a lot easier cleanup when, when you're done. So I'm gonna go the last four minutes just to kind of crisp the top with it opened up. And we'll check it again. In the meantime, I'm gonna check my potatoes. These are being ear crisp right now. And these are just about Done. So I'm going to move them over and I'm going to add my asparagus, but first I'm going to just take my leftover garlic puree and I'm going to throw that on there. And I'm 
going to throw these guys right in there with the potatoes. And let that go for a couple minutes. All right, guys, the grill stopped. It's finished cooking. I'm going to take a look at that. So feel free if you have a um, temperature gauge to check, but I cook this an awful lot. My husband loves salmon, so I make this all the time, and I know that it's done. So now I'm just going to wait a few seconds, and I'm going to plate it. All right, guys, this looks so good. Just going to move it to my plate. Add my asparagus. And I'm gonna grab my roasted potatoes. All right, guys, here we are. Seasoned salmon with some grilled asparagus, roasted potatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice on top. Cut right into that. I'm gonna show you inside. It's very tender, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to pick it up with the fork. Just like that, guys. So I'm not going to try it because I don't eat fish, but this is my husband's dinner. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, go ahead and click the like button and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Bon appetit, guys.